everyone, Dave here from Bellows and tonight I'm going to doing a video on how to care for huntsman spiders and set up their cage. Huntsman spiders are... <laughs> I have a communal huntsman, which by the name as its name suggests, it is a communal huntsman, uh, commun communal spider and actually the only huntsman spider in the world that lives a social life. And as you can see, she's just there. Her name is Fang. And you may, you may be wondering, I thought, you, I thought your spider was named Scuttley. Yes, I did have a spider called Scuttley, but she sadly died a few, couple, a few months back because of, I think, of a sickness. I don't know why uh, she got it because I was feeding her real well. She's like, her abdomen was really big. So I've just, I've just added some usual bark habitat with some eucalypt leaves. And if you may or may not know, I live in Australia where these spiders are native to. They are usually found under gum trees under loose bark and gum trees and you should be able to find them under the bark of gum trees if you look thoroughly. That is only if you live in Australia because these are Australian spiders. So how I've just set my container up as you can see here I've just added some bark, lots of it, so so, so Fang has a lot of space, has lots of um, hideouts to where she can hide but she usually hides under the egg, uh, egg carton just there and that bark just there. I I also have like a, a bark running bark running up to the top and some eucalypt leaves so it looks more like her natural habitat which is the eucalypt forest. Communal huntsmen are actually very fascinating and and they uh, and they actually feed they live in uh, to live in colonies up of up to one hundred which is quite a quite a bit. So uh, and even the good thing, and the, also another cool thing, is that they actually will feed each other. Like the mother of the spider, which is the head of the colony, will, I, f I, I found um, Fang alone, so she she was living alone. So yeah, they they when when the mother catches like a big meal, she um she catches um like a big meal, and then she brings it back to the the bark place where the her family reside. And then they actually share the meal upon each other, which is really, really cool. <coughs> so yeah, back to care. Feeding these spiders, you can use crickets or cockroaches. You can, you can buy them from pet stores in containers. They, and also, if you, want, you want to add some water in there, as you can see in there. That's water with a tissue so it dampens it, so the spider can just suck it off. Also, you have to get a good size... Um, aquarium size that's good enough for your spider to roam around. My spider's a large size, a large spider, probably nearly about nearly adult or about this adult size. I think she she has the one more time. I'm not sure, but she's got a large um, aquarium cage. This is the lid here, the blue. And you want to um, Hi. you want to get um. So yeah, if you're gonna, if you do catch a co actual colony, we try and um, get a bigger cage since the spiders need more room since there's a lot more spiders, and and you want to add more, much more bark as well because of course the spiders won't be able to fit in one bit of bark. It depends on how big the bark is, of course. So yeah, this spider is actually really easy to care for and don't require much food, but. If you wanna, if you're going out, if you if you're going on like holiday and you can't take your spider with you, um, th they actually can last long without food. So if your spider's like well fed, you should you should, the spider should last until you can come back. And as you can see on Fang, she's got a pretty big abdomen. If you can focus there. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I hope I hope you um found this video interesting. Please smack the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another video. And also give a uh, also give um check out Parakeet Lover. He is one of my one actually he's actually one of my YouTube friends on YouTube. So feel free to check him out. So bye.